Christian Sanchez was somebody that I met sort of fairly recently in the grand scheme of things. Um, he came to my attention because he was working with um, Vanda Kadas doing advocacy in East Palo Alto, and they were really focusing on, on socioeconomically challenged communities. And I thought that was terrific. I mean, I really think that's extremely important, as Anna was talking about yesterday. Um, you know, we've got to make this a movement for everybody. Um, and, you know, there are all sorts of social justice implications, and we've got to respect and recognize them all. And, um, and Christian uh, gave a talk yesterday about what he's doing in East Palo Alto with Vanda. And um, I was so moved by it. Last night, we were sitting in Herbivore. Herbivore is the place we've been living in for the past three days because it's got lots of tables. And so you know, we get large groups to go down there and we, we hang out. Um, and and you know, we, all, we know the, the wait staff by name, by first names now, and we feel like family. But um, last night, I asked him to become a moderator on our page, and he's accepted. So he's our newest moderator on the Evolutionist Approach Facebook page. And he's going to talk to you a little bit about advocacy. Hey, guys. I want to talk about um, using a, a powerful, peaceful arsenal in your, in your advocacy. I wanted to talk about uh, the power of moral intuition. And by moral intuition, I mean talking about the predicate of becoming a vegan. That's basically what we all agree on, is that um, animals, they all, they all have moral value. And basically the question to ask is, um, do you believe that it's wrong to unnecessarily inflict suffering and pain on, and death on animals? And that's the question to ask every time. It takes the focus away from anything else where the conversation may go to and brings it back to the fundamental, to the fundamental point. Um, I notice that like when you speak to, to a more uh, intellectual audience or to an in intellectual person, you get more, they have more justifications for their animal use. They, they pick different things from plant sentience to, uh, to humane options to whether plants have souls and we all, everything has, has a meaning, but they get carried away. And, but, but what we have to do is we have to bring it back to the fundamentals. We have to bring it back to, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, moral intuition, the, the predicate, which we all agree on. And that most people will say yes, because most people do care about animals. And from there you can, you can go on and, and bring it home. Um, it, you, you really want to stay away from discussing things that, that go away from the moral obligation that we have. You don't want to talk about, you don't, you don't really want to talk about health. Uh, it's a side effect of going vegan, as well as the environment. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just always ask that question, um, educate yourself. Uh, it'll be much smoother. You can always ask that question at, at any point in the conversation. It'll actually get you away from places you don't want to go when you're talking to people. It really will. Really things you don't have to discuss anyways. It, it's, it's really arbitrary. You want to get back to the fundamentals. Uh, do you care about animals? Uh, are you vegan yet? Um, do you believe that animals have any value? Do you believe that they're things or, or persons? go from there, really. That's about it. Thank you.